This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. On Lake Cumberland, the creeks are showing a lot of potential right now for crappie and striped bass. Good numbers of striper are in the mid to upper portions of the major creeks. They have been holding in 15 to 20 feet of water and near the major points. Some of the striper are still somewhat thin after the stressful water conditions from the summer, so they are actively feeding on shad. Crappie are scattered throughout the creeks right now, but try targeting areas around standing timber using minnows and jigs. Rock Creek in McCreary County was recently stocked with rainbow trout. The upper portion of the creek from the Tennessee state line to the Bell Farm Bridge is part of the seasonal catch and release trout program, so only artificial baits can be used and the trout must be immediately released. With the holidays fast approaching, keep the fish in mind after the lights and trees come down. Natural Christmas trees can be recycled and used for fish habitat, so if you're looking for a way to dispose of your tree, go to fw.ky.gov and search for Christmas trees. There you will find a list of locations across the state to drop off your undecorated trees. Trees will then be placed in lakes around the area to increase fish habitat. So good luck and good fishing. Hi, this is Kevin Fry with your Eastern Area Fisheries Report. Some of the warm days of recent, producing good fishing for bluegill and red air sunfish in small ponds, red worms, under floater working well in shallow water, crappie anglers catching good numbers of fish at Yatesville, Dewey, and fish trap lakes, casting tube jigs with slow retrieve in shallow water near brush and across mud flats, most fish coming from two to six foot depth, channel catfish are producing good fishing of recent, anglers catching fish in shallow water with cut fish, chicken liver, and worms as bait, shallow shoreline areas working well, in shallow water areas near channel breaks in upper lake area, also producing catfish, channel catfish numerous, at Fish Trap Lake with lots of two to five pound fish. Also very good numbers of white bass and hybrid striped bass mixed in with channel catfish running shoreline areas in Fish Trap Lake from Hurricane to Joe's Creek. Largemouth bass fishing reports have been slow or poor. A few smaller fish being caught on rattle trap baits and finesse worms. Hi, this is Eric Cummins with your Southwest Kentucky Fishing Report. Green River Lake remains about 15 foot or better above summer pool and will remain high until at least another week or so. Check with the Green River Lake Corps office or their Facebook page for potential dates that the drawdown will begin. Bass at Green have been fair on jigs on the main lake drop-offs and turns. Muskie also have been fair fishing the edges of flooded trees and up into the feeder creeks. Green River below the dam will remain unseasonably low and clear. Be advised that the tailwater and ramp area are closed until the repairs on the stilling basin are done. Access to the Green River is can be had downstream of the 55 bridge. Barren River Lake is falling at about a foot a day back to winter pool. Bass have been fair there on jigs and lipless crankbaits on main lake structure and channel drop-offs. Crappie likewise have been best on the main lake channel drop-off structure and brush piles. Smaller lake crappie and bluegill action remains good with live bait, fishing brush piles or other fish attractors in about 5 to 15 foot of water. Check out our website for fish attractor sites on these smaller state-owned lakes or managed lakes that are near you. As always, good luck and good fishing. Be sure your life jacket's got your back.